A card tester Reinhold Deisenhofer says it would be a mistake to think wealthy people don't care about the environment. The Bentley Flying Spur is a case in point. The V8 engine version has proved a hit with well-heeled customers. It's more fuel efficient and produces 40% less CO2 than the 12-cylinder engine. Now, Bentley's introduced the Flying Spur V8S with a more powerful engine and a crisper feel thanks to its sportily tuned suspension. The Flying Spur suspension system has been overhauled. Its handling and responsiveness have been improved. The independent computer-controlled air suspension ensures a smooth ride throughout, despite the car's sportier engine. The vehicle's optimized electronic stability control allows increased wheel slip at higher speeds, with engine torque reinstated more quickly after the system intervenes. Reinhold notes that the S in V8S stands for a more sporty air suspension and a more responsive powertrain. In S mode, the car won't change from 7th to 8th gear despite rising revs. This allows you to reach maximum speed more quickly. Overall, the Bentley's an agile ride, even though this behemoth weighs 2.5 tons. Some of the Bentley's design features hint at its new, more powerful specs. For example, the dark tinted headlights and black honeycomb grille, which has come to replace the more conservative chrome grille. Overall, the Bentley's been given a bolder look. Einhold admits that a feature-packed Bentley will set you back at least 200,000 euros, plus tax, but you'll enjoy maximum comfort while breezing along at 300 kilometers or more. For this price tag, you'll get more than 500 horsepower, lavish leather upholstery, an exquisite ambience, and excellent sound. No wonder, given its 4-liter twin-turbocharged engine. The Flying Spur is 5.3 meters long, making it one of the largest passenger vehicles on the road. The chrome finish adds to its luxurious appeal. Numerous V8S emblems are a reminder of the Bentley's athletic credentials. The interior is a luxurious tour de force, lavish leather upholstery, massage seats. No wish is too small or too large here. From the sat-nav to the analog clock and down to the smallest buttons, the interior has been designed with an eye to quality and detail. There's a great deal of chrome, which won't be to everyone's liking. And in the back, luxury abounds as well. For example, the air vents can be toggled via remote control. Optional extras include LCD screens, fold-out tables, and more. The sky's the limit, really. At the rear, there's also plenty of chrome, including on the dark tinted taillights, double exhaust pipes, and Bentley logo. The trunk offers 475 liters of cargo space. The most important technical update involves the Bentley's 4-liter V8 engine. It now has an output of 388 kilowatts and a maximum torque of 680 newton meters. This lets it accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers in just 4.9 seconds, delivering a maximum speed of 306 kilometers per hour. But despite these specs, Bentley says the V8 hasn't become more fuel hungry. Manufacturer ratings put fuel consumption at 10.9 liters per 100 kilometers so you can drive up to 830 kilometers on a full tank. The V8S comes with an eight-speed automatic transmission. 40% of the power is distributed to the front axle, 60 to the rear axle. In Germany, an entry-level Bentley Flying Spur V8S will set you back more than 150,000 euros. The feature pack model we're testing comes at 200,000 euros. 
the legendary Bentley. Heinold says the legendary Bentley boys from the 1920s would have loved the V8S. Why? They established Bentley's racing credentials and would have loved the V8S top speed of over 300 kilometers an hour. Not to mention its ability to accelerate from 0 to 100 in just five seconds.